Let's play Control. Hello and welcome back to Control. And today we're going to follow the main story. Wait, no. And hopefully my recording will work and everything. It's been a while that I played Control. Um, not gonna lie, that big part eight clusterfuck, that really, it made me wary of this game. <laughs> so we have to go to dimension. Wait, but also we can change our clothes yet again because we did the luck um, thingy, machine. Yes. Ooh, my favorite outfit. Ah, oh, look at us. Snare, I want to have this. Ah, oh, so cool. So cool. Instead, I look like a sad clown today, like a rodeo clown. <laughs> uh, research sector. Yeah, I, I don't think we will finish this game today because it's been... It will be quite a stretch until then. But uh, yeah, I want to push forward the main plot and I think I will do so until we reach the ending. And then I will look at the DLCs and look at some of the other side missions and see what's entertaining and what's not. Because uh, some of the side missions are really entertaining that I think they might be interesting for you as well. But some are more like fetch quests or kill this and kill that and find this and find that and that can be edited down to like a few minutes and I think it's better if I do all this after the main game um, also I have to look at you know I, I really want to look at the DLCs because I have not played the DLCs before like this this right here that's not a blind playthrough ah shit no no is that it gentlemen and maybe ladies and maybe people. Who knows what's behind those his masks. Can I go there? No. Possibly changing labyrinth. Can never pass through. Dimensional research. Mm-hmm. How oh, trench. Contact the janitor if you need to get through. Broken. How many dead ends can this place have? We need to find Gotti. Yeah, but first we we will. Cam it, okay? We'll first uh, see what Trench had to say. Um. I'm averse to using objects of power. Uh huh. I don't want to lean on things I ultimately can't trust. <sighs> but the ashtray and the cigarette, smoking there forever, have their <gasps> uses. The ashtray maze they conjure is an impossibly changing labyrinth that no one but the binder and those the binder invites can ever pass through. Oh! The things we hid in dimensional research, the things Darling studies, the danger and the risk involved, call for every measure of security and protection I could bring to the table. The maze hands down is our strongest lock I gave darling and his chosen crew license to pass through the maze lately I've started to think I should revoke that license hmm. what's that descent You have heard wrong fake news. Fake news. <laughs> yeah, all the time. The board is a okay and tagged. <gasps> no, I don't think the rebel faction descent is former fired. The crisis purchase over. Oh my god, is that the hiss? This is not a matter worry for you. 
Is this the his talking through the board? You can up now. You can hang up now, please. No, I would. Uh, what? Is that the his trying to lie? Are they lying to me? Did I already show you that this. that you can't go through here? I can't remember. It's been a thousand years that I started this. No, oh, what? Oh. Now I'm back again. Okay, so we go to the janitor. Maintenance. So Trench was basically um, managing who could walk through the labyrinth and who couldn't. And he allowed uh, Darling and his crew to get through their two dimensional research. So this was really a very close off section of the whole old house. And that's why he's always smoking, I guess. Um, because we've seen his certain brand of cigarettes a lot all over the place. And maybe he did that because he could... Maybe that doesn't just help with the labyrinth, but maybe also with other things. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. Let's see what Artie has to say. Artie? Artie? I'm sorry. Artie? Who's that? I always think if I run it, you know, fast enough, there will not be any enemies. <laughs> what a mess. No, Even Artie. more mold? Oh. Where is he? No, not. I will do this later. I have to fight the urge to do this side mission. Is that him? That's adorable. Is he smiling? He's having. Oh my. Oh, that's a little bit scary. <laughs> but yeah, he seems to be. What's the lights? In a Finnish hut? Is it murky? I think I read that on the Remedy Instagram page today, but I already now forgot the word. Now this boy left, oh. said the son of Anniki Tähti. My assistant will keep work in the glove and the house standing. Lomille lumps, holiday humps. How can anyone even get out of here while the building's sealed? Let alone go on holiday. Guess well. we're about to find out. I mean, Ati is not just a normal employee. I don't even think he's employed. Oh shit. I mean, Artie willingly is in the house. Oh! Uh. God. I really want to get rid of this weird tense face I do and the breathing when I'm fighting but ugh, I don't know how to do this hi oh she's super scary and oh not so scary anymore, huh? Oh no, that, that was kind of mean. I get it. Oh, okay. So this light, that's by Artie. Ugh, why am I saying Artie? <laughs> I mean Artie, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's hilarious. I don't get it. Party. Oh Jesus! This is so like this is so just incredibly rude. But I oh there, I get it. Anything here? No. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. Boop. There you go. Oh, there's Polaris as well. That's good, I guess. Oh yeah, that's very good. Oh shit, that really was hard the last time I did it. And that scared me. <laughs> um. Oh. 
Okay. Um, oh. Furnace complained. Um, the furnace. Why aren't we allowed to burn outdated paperwork in it? Seems like a waste of a perfectly good fire. I'm just trying to save you a few bucks and a lot of sweat. Usually people in suits appreciate that, right? What is the furnace even heating? And who's in charge of it anyway? It's always lit, but I never see anyone tending to it. And the noise it makes, isn't it a little... I don't know, off? I mean, I can't be the only one who hears that weird wheezing or whatever it is. Someone should take a look at that thing. Might be time for a replacement. No, that's part of the old house, you dolt. Wait, what was, uh... What's that? Ah, Lumai Lums, Holiday Homs. The sauna is warm, the beer is cold, and the kosu is in ice. Ati. What's kosu? I will look this up and hopefully remember to put it in the liner notes. Yeah, do this again. And, oh, this was hard. I remember. This was so hard. The mold's gotten in here too. Alright. Let's get going. Okay, and now to these. Oh! No! Oh! 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 Wow, that hurt me so much. Damn. Ooh, okay. Oh, I need to. I still hear something. But that's, uh, I guess, uh, nothing. Is there anything here? I'm very hurt also. This time I can't even try this. Yöstä alkaen lounaistulta kolmesta kahdeksaan. Ajoittain noin kymmenen metriä. Oh, ew, no! Kutuista. So now we're opening opening this up for Ati or with Ati's help. So maybe it's not. Oh, I think that's the mold vanishing from two to two. Also, what's this? Is this always here? Huh. It's always it, yeah. It's it's just Finland now. That's new, right? Huh. Interesting. Oh wait, where am I? Jesus, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, it's a different door. Oh, it is this one. I was wondering about it. So that is definite proof that Ati is not part of the board um, and might not even be part of the old house, but just moved in there because he wanted to. Uh, 
Oh no, I don't want to be here. Oh, this place. It's a creepy place. Yeah. It's a creepy place. What's this? Albany? Albany summary. A response team was dispatched to a possible AWE in progress at Albany. At the scene, the team encountered a retrieve. The Bureau had discovered numerous online message boards regarding loud noises coming from an abandoned shipping warehouse belonging to the <laughs> Corporation. Local law enforcement had discovered numerous bodies in various states of mutilation in the vicinity. This, along with the noises, were considered the evidence of a werewolf due to the fact that they only occurred on the last three full moons. Ah, yeah, that's... Um Simon Irish's story. Um, I hope I included that in the in the let's play of the side missions. He used to be part of the Rangers, uh, but not for long. He soon decided that he wanted to be uh, in maintenance. But they had a case where they thought it was a werewolf, but it was an AWE. And then they all kept like a silver bullet in a pouch as a reminder. Field agent hmm, accompanied a squad of Ranger trainees. Yeah, field agent might. Maybe that was, no, I think, uh, was Arish the ranger trainee or was he the field agent? He was probably a ranger trainee, yeah. To the side as a form of field training. The likelihood of a genuine uh, AWE was considered low. Despite this evaluation, the team encountered a high volatile altered item, which they successfully retrieved. Yes, because, I mean, Simon was involved. Of course they retrieved it successfully. Oh, what's that? Is that a... What is this? What's this? Is this... Does something want me... Want to harm me? Is that it? Gosh... Oh, this place is so scary. Oh. oh, what was that? I don't even know what that was. I'm scared. Damn you. alone. Do I have to? Woo! Okay. <laughs> wow! Okay. Scary, scary. There we go. Bam! Ha 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 ha. Aw. Aw. Okay, but the next part is kind of, uh, it can be difficult. Oh yeah, let's read first. Again, Albany supplement. Upon arrival, the squad broke into the warehouse and discovered boxes of undelivered merchandise abandoned by the previous owner of the warehouse. As they investigated the noise along the south side of the building, south side, caused it to collapse inward. Wooden crates and an in accelerated physical, hmm, from hmm, rendered field agent, hmm, and two of the trainees unconscious. The others escaped the warehouse before it collapsed entirely. In the rubble, they found a I-63 at the origin of the roll-up, attracting and repelling debris. They stood guard around the item until the moon set, at which point the altered effect ceased. They returned the item to the bureau without further incident. No fatalities occurred. Attracting and repelling debris. That was the save! That was the save! Because that's the power we have now. We can attract and repel debris. Collapse of the warehouse was not witnessed by civilians and thus no reinforming by the communications department was required. And it only worked during a full moon. How odd. Okay, here was a button. There's a button. And now there will be so many enemies. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh no. No. Oh shit. Oh, that was on me. That was on me. Even more! Oh, bup. Oh! 
Mess. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's uh, take uh, the ride. Yeah. Ooh, that's scary. Ooh. Oh, look at it. I love this. It's so massive. Also, there's a video of the actor of Artie singing this. I will post this. Also, the actor looks a lot better than Artie, actually. <laughs> it's more attractive. They kind of did him dirty. <laughs> Added a lot more wrinkles than he actually has. Something up ahead. Do you see it? It's water. It's lake water, I think. <laughs> I think that's Archie in the sauna because that splashing sound. Holiday memories tree. The results are incredible, but more so the speed of discovery this allows us. A14 copies our speech, but after numerous tests, we've discovered that certain words are missing from its vocabulary. Dr. Theodore Ash. Altered speech. We began isolating these words, cross-referencing them with esoteric texts from the early days of the Bureau. We found that these words, when arranged in particular formula formations and spoken at varying speeds and cadences, elicit a reaction from altered materials. <gasps> oh no, is that the hiss? What they or what the hiss uses we tested the specific string of words as formula if you will on the other altered items ca kept in the examination hall varying physical responses were recorded with each one because wasn't it also said that the old some of the altered items items some of the altered items got a lot more hostile when the hiss arrived uh, with an 82 percent success rate sorry We've proven that words can tangibly affect these items. Specific applications must be explored, possibly for containment or identification purposes. This will drastically change our approach moving forward. And to think there are still more words to be found. This also plays in 01980. This is this is old. This uh, plays with Darling's resonance uh, theory. You know, just words can have resonance. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's from the picture. That was a beer, by the way. <laughs> I hear. Oh. I think he just made a joke about the Swedish. I don't think the Finnish like the Swedish very much. Oh, the Finns? I don't know. I think the Finns. This is so gorgeous. Holidays home. Where 
trust this. Adi? <laughs> Did you miss me? Did you have peace in your song? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bart, don't make a wound. You did good. Take my cassette player. You can borrow it. The song is a present from my friends to you. It will get you through the maze so you can do your job. Did that really just happen? Of course it did. He gave me his cassette player. It'll get me through the maze, huh? The janitor always has the keys. I mean, I know Yggdrasil from um, Scandinavian lore. I don't know if it's part of Finnish lore as well. Um, but I think maybe this hints at who Ati really is. Maybe I'll look that up. Also, in a previous replay, I... Um, looked at this to see whether I can find stuff here on this plane, but I, d I could not. Maybe there's something, but I haven't found it. So just, you know, FYI. Oh, and fast travel. And now we can go to the uh, ash ashtray maze. I'll see whether we can do this within the allotted time to get to uh, dimensional research. And then I will probably stop this episode and, and continue on in the next one we'll see i used to have really big problems with the ashtray maze um but the last time i played this it went fairly well but i don't know sometimes you know it goes really well and sometimes it goes really bad and then you have to try over and over again so i hope this is a good one <laughs> So now this is such a cute idea. I put on the walk, man. And now this it works for me. I can move through it.
bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Woohoo! Awesome. Oh god, this was a good one. Yes. I'm proud of myself. The expedition into Slidescape 36. What Darling brought back changed everything. Oh, darling, what did you do now? Alrighty. So, we're gonna listen to Trench, but we will discover the dimensional research uh, in the next episode. And I see that document. We will read it next time. But let's see what we got. Um, ashtray and cigarette. The object is a steel ashtray with a maze engraved on its bottom. An ever-burning cigarette rests in it. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to create a maze of shifting corridors without adjusting the dimensions of the space around it. So he created it. This maze forms wherever the object is placed. Only the binder can navigate the maze, though they may allow others through. The object is currently bound to direct a trench. Um, the object was discovered at Blub by a team of rangers sent to, care, to a care facility for the elderly that had become the center of numerous missing persons reports. Local authorities also disappeared inside after responding to reports. I'm laughing, but this is no laughing matter. People got lost. Agent Blub discovered the object in a hum hum hum, which indicates it was the source of the disappearances. The whereabouts of the missing persons are still unknown, though they are presumed to be lost in the maze. Alrighty, multimedia. Yeah, that's the songs and oh, foundation. You have seen the foundation base of the building tree. Oh, the house grew there, here, everywhere. Oh, we are there, everywhere. We have a socket door there. Oh, it is a direct link. So where we met Artie, that 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 tree, that carved tree, that was the origin of the house. That's interesting. I did not think. I thought that was related to Artie. Huh? They have a door there. Hmm. Okay. We used the slide projector. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I led the expeditions into Slidescape Thirty Six. They told me not to go. The director should not put himself in danger. I told them to fuck off. I've seen action before and I had to witness this myself. To find some meaning in all of this. I couldn't sit on my ass. Alone with my thoughts, my memories. Anything but that. Those who survived were deeply affected by what we found there. By what Darling brought back. It changed everything. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing remains to be seen. But I did find my meaning in that desert. A sound, like a needle drilling in, cutting through the containment suit, reverberating on the base of my skull. My whole being. Darling said it was nothing. But he was wrong. It's been there ever since, growing into a certainty, into an understanding of what's at stake here, what kind of a threat we're facing, and what must be done to stop it. That sounds like the his. That drilling and and you know, because it's because Polaris it can't be Polaris because Polaris is very positive and I think he, from what we know from Jesse Polaris is not drilling or anything negative but the hiss is so yeah okay I will end this episode here I hope this recorded properly and I'm not even believing in any god so I don't know what I did there I believe in Artie <laughs> um and then we will go to dimensional research and find out what what this is all about. What did Darling brought, bring back? Um, and I'm not quite sure whether the next episode will be the end of the of the main game. Um, we'll see about that. It could be. It could not be. It depends on how long it takes to to get there because it is. I think 
uh, we're heading towards the ending to the very ending but it's it's it, it's it depends on me whether it's a sprint or a marathon so yeah that's all there is but uh, we will definitely find out a lot more um in in the next episode because the cool, I think what I really like about this game is it it has a lot of mysteries, but I think the main questions it doesn't leave open. So you, you know, it is a fulfilling ending. So don't worry, this is not lost. Jesus, you know, this it's really not. So yeah, I hope you had fun with this. Um, if you saw anything, any references, anything cool you want to tell me in the comments, you can do so. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I sang it like this. Uh, <laughs> what was that noise? Oh god, this game. That noise sounded like a man screaming. You know what? It sounded like this the scream I think from Event Horizon the movie. There was a certain scream that was super horrible. The whole movie is amazing, by the way, but it sounded like that scream. I didn't like it. Yeah, come to think of it, I don't like the music in, in Dimensional Research. Ooh. Anyways, yeah, we will, we will, you know, get creeped out by that in the next episode. Um, you can like this video if you like this video. And also, for if for some reason you don't follow me and have stumbled over this episode and kind of like what you saw there, you can, of course, subscribe to my channel. I usually play a lot of indie, uh, short indie horror games. But now and then, you know, I, I just um, play longer games that float my boat. So if that's cool for you, then subscribe or don't, you know, no pressure. Anyways, I hope you had a good time. I hope you have a wonderful day and maybe, hopefully, see you soon. Bye bye bye. This is myself recorded out for song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews and let's plays.